Compost looking to double dip, he does. Up ahead, cross back post, ball is in. Minnesota has their second lead tonight. And that's Ton. We knew it was a big game for us. Uh, we felt like, um, you know, it, it was the season at that point. And again, it's now the next game is the season. But I, I just thought uh, going into that game, we really needed to, uh, you know, not only get the points, but just show some nice resolve as a team and show that we had the unit and effort and organization to get, uh, get the job done. I, I just felt like we actually started brightly, and their goal was a great goal, kind of against the run of the play. It was off of a corner kick, and, and the guy curled a beautiful shot in. And, I think our response was great. We continued to play the way well, we felt the game, so I, I knew we were going to get chances to come back into the game. And uh, you know, I, I thought the guys' response was great to go up 2-1. We made some changes a little bit to the game, and we also focused a little bit on a better tempo and better parts of the field to really build up our attack to create chances. And you know, we felt against Carolina away, you know, we did all right defensively, but we didn't have the kind of tempo that would create a lot of chance in the game. And we really stressed this week at certain parts of the field to really get the ball moving, uh, which you know puts stress on them and uh, gives us quality chances. So. Again, I was really pleased with that type of attitude and effort the guys had. I thought we were playing really well, and then when we went up a man, um, we played just okay. And I, and I don't think San Antonio was having, creating a lot of chances with 10 men uh, against our 11, but I don't think we were also pressing the tempo to play at that point. So, you know, if I had one big criticism in the game, I just felt like we went to 10 men. We didn't quite do the hard things to make the game a little bit easier, which is, you know, really try to keep the ball a bit more, try to be smart about how we possess it. Well, there's always a lot of dynamics for any situation, and, and that one was a little bit unique. Um, certainly, that was a unique situation that, you know, we just had a player, Callum Malice, you know, had got hit in the midsection and went down, and he was kind of slow to get up, and, you know, I, I felt like we clicked off for a second in terms of some guys thought maybe the referee was going to stop the play. Uh, Callum got up, and he was a little bit out of position, uh, and our back four got a little bit deep. In, in my honest opinion, I think we could have been a little bit higher up the field. So, again, when you have a guy like that, a forward who's coming into the space in the midfield, you really don't want to give him time and space to turn to have those options to either hit his strike like that or to try to play it in behind. I think Dennison was making a diagonal run as well. So again, I, I think in that situation, hats off to them, was a beautiful strike. I do think we could have been a little bit more compact defensively so they wouldn't have had that kind of time and space to, to, to hit the ball. But the response of the guys to say, hey, we're still up a man, we really want to get the three points. And, and you just saw the energy of the guys. It, it didn't stop until the final whistle and that's really what I was proud about. And, you know, uh, the last goal, there was a lot of players that created situations that we created the chance for us to win the game. And certainly Miguel's energy and effort and kind of guile to, to get to the end line the way he did, uh, you know, was uh, significant and it showed that he was having a very good game. His energy they brought to the field reminded us that that's a big part of the game is really getting the ball moving, working hard on both sides of the ball. And, uh, you know, he, he had two assists for a reason. It's because he really wanted to be involved. He wanted to to push the tempo of the game. And, and you know, when you have your center back uh, being the one who's running across the near post to, to have the game winning goal, that's a great feeling because that's a guy that really wants to make sure that we can do everything we can to try to see the game out and get the three points.